Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy PJ, aka the Iron Man of YouTube. And what I got today is some Madden 17 news. Now you guys know what I did last year. I did the ratings of the rookies and the players by each category of position they play. So this year I'm doing the same thing and I'm kind of late to the game because I didn't know they started posting this stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the rookies and the top five quarterbacks. So starting off, we got number 10 for the rookies. We got the Forrest Buckner. He's six foot seven, 291 pounds. Buckner checks off every box in terms of athleticism and his size alone will impact the game. So you guys already know this man gonna be a beast. He's six foot seven, 291 pounds. God, that is a big boy. 86 tackling, 87 hit power, 83 power move, 82 block shedding, and 84 pursuit. <laughs> 49 is going to be looking like a team this year. All right, so now at number nine, we got Hunter Henry, tied in for the San Diego Chargers. This man right here got a 77 run blocking, 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 80 agility, 82 jumping, and 80 catching. So the Chargers looking like they're going to have somebody to replace Antonio Gates. So hopefully he can learn from this man because, honestly, Antonio Gates has been a good tight end for years. And they got to find someone to replace them. At number eight, we got Corey Coleman for you guys already know the Cleveland Browns. The team that I'm doing my franchise mode on right now. But sadly, he won't be on my team in Madden 17 because, hey, I got to get a new team. But he comes in with a 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility, 93 jumping, and 91 spec catch. This man got a lot of speed. So his route running being an 80, going to go ahead and get past a lot of these dudes. So hopefully the Browns can have him and Josh Gordon back next year, but I don't know about Josh Gordon, but they'll definitely have Corey Coleman will be the number one receiver. So yeah. At number seven, we got Jack Conklin, right tackle for the Tennessee Titans. This man right here was a former college walk-on who turned into an NFL pro. Hey man, that shows that no matter what, you could become something in life. But this man right here coming in here with an 84 run block, 81 pass block, 84 strength, 81 impact block and 72 speed. So his speed being a 72 is going to allow him to get down the field. And also, they don't say it in the stats, but his acceleration will be at 81. So this man going to be a beast for the Titans. So the Titans looking like they're going to be something in the AFC South. I just hope they don't kill my Colts. Number six, we got Laramie Tunzel for the Miami Dolphins left guard. This man right here was the hype of the whole draft. And then he got drafted. And then everybody's trying to show his pot smoking video but anyway this man beast right now come in with an 81 run block 84 pass block 88 strength this man strong that boy strong at 83 impact block and 65 speed so you guys know this man gonna be a beast for the miami dolphins hopefully ryan Tannehill he'll get his act together now and now we got number five for the san diego Chargers again Chargers did a lot of stuff this year in the draft but we got the man from the ohio state university old joey boza Left in for the Chargers, 84 finesse move, 80 power move, 80 speed, 82 block shedding, 84 pursuit. So his overall is a 79. So this man gonna be a beast right now. Next we got number four, Robert Ageo, a kicker. Out of all things, a kicker. The Buccaneers drafted a kicker. He was the first kicker selected in the second round since Mike Nugent was drafted 47th overall the 2005 NFL Draft. This man is a beast at kicking, 92 kick power, 94 kick accuracy, 74 speed. And I don't know why they're showing his short throw, short catch and all that stuff. But this man right here, I heard he never missed a field goal under 40 yards. So hopefully the Buccaneers got them a person now. So dang, this man might be hitting some game winners for the Buccaneers. He's a 79 also. Coming in at number three, we get in the top three, now 79 overall. We got left tackle Ronnie Stanley for the Baltimore Ravens. This man right here coming in with an 83 run block, 86 pass block, 82 strength, 83 impact blocking, and 66 speed. So hopefully the Ravens could come in here with a more beast offensive line because I think they still have Marshall Yonda. So with that offensive line, they also could be something great. So let's just see if the Ravens will do anything. And then there were two. Number two, Ezekiel Elliott from the Ohio State University for the Cowboys now. Coming in with an 80 overall. This man right here. I wish the Indianapolis Colts would have traded up and drafted this man. But you know what? I'm not mad at us. It's all good. Hopefully the Cowboys can do stuff with this man because he a beast. Listen, I, I gotta give him that. He a beast. But anyways, this man coming here with a 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 agility, 86 carrying, and a 91 ball carrying vision. So 
This man got potential of being a beast. Man, it's about to be scary. It's about to be scary. That's all I got to say. Then at number one, we got Jalen Ramsey from Florida State. This man right here coming here with an 82 overall. Oh my goodness, this man is a beast. But he is a cornerback for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he coming in with a 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 agility, 85 man, and 84 zone. So this man's about to be a lockdown corner. And I feel sad for the Indianapolis Colts because this is some BS, man. We did not have to go through this. We do not have to go through this. But it's going to be hard for us. But anyways, this was the rookies right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the rookie parts. Now I'm about to switch over to the quarterbacks part right now. All right, so at number five, we got Russell Wilson coming in with a 91 overall. Russell Wilson got an 85 speed, 93 throw power, 93 short accuracy, 91 mid accuracy, and 88 deep accuracy. So you guys already know, like, I honestly like watching him play because he proven everybody wrong saying that a short guy can't do it. I think in his second year, he won a Super Bowl. So don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing, bro. So Russell Wilson, 91 overall. At number four, we got Big Ben Roethlisberger coming in with a 93 overall. This man right here got a 73 speed, 95 throw power, 95 short accuracy, 96 mid accuracy, and 90 deep accuracy. So Big Ben coming out here proving his point. He still got mobility left in his legs. 73 speed, bro. So he's still going to be a threat if you want to scramble a little bit. God damn. Can we talk about this 96 mid and 95 short? Whew. Hey, if you guys doing a draft league, I Big Ben still a beast, bro. He like 30, 33 or something like that. So if you guys need to draft a quarterback for a little bit, Big Ben is your man. At number three, we got the one, the only, Tom Brady coming in with a 94 overall. Can we just go ahead and say this man is the smartest quarterback apparently because they gave him a 99 awareness, 94 throw power, 98 short accuracy, 98 mid accuracy, and 84 deep accuracy. One of the greatest late picks ever in the NFL and future Hall of Famer. What else can I say? That man's a beast, bro. It's going to be weird this year not seeing Manning versus Brady. At number two, we got Cam Superman Newton coming in with a 94 overall. Nigga, we made it. So Cam Newton coming in here with an 86 speed, 87 to lose in this, 97 throw power, 94 short accuracy, and 93 mid accuracy. Now, they wrong. They ain't show the deep accuracy, but... They do say that the deep accuracy for Cam Newton is an 87 overall. So, right there, Cam Newton's going to be a beast. So, if you want a quarterback to draft, either draft Russell Wilson or Cam Newton. But, like I said, don't sleep on Big Ben. But, yeah, Cam Newton's going to be that beast, bro. And they added his new celebration, so that's going to be fun to watch him at him. So, the number one overall rated quarterback is Aaron the Bad Man Rodgers. Rocking 96 overall, 78 speed, 98 throw power, 96 short accuracy, 94 mid accuracy, and 90 deep accuracy. Aaron Rodgers is that man. He don't even have to win a Super Bowl. He's still that man. I'm glad he got a Super Bowl because he's just a beast, bro. No matter what anybody say, Aaron Rodgers can make any play happen. 78 speed, bro. That man is a healthier Big Ben, basically. If you really think about it, Aaron Rodgers is like a Big Ben, but better. So, yeah, I, there's no, Aaron Rodgers speaks for himself, man. But anyways, guys, I'll be back tomorrow with hopefully the running backs. And sorry I was late to this because I just seen it. So if you guys like this, remember like, comment, also subscribe. And I'll be back with you guys daily for Madden 17 News. And don't worry, I still got my regular series too. But anyways, it's me with PJ. I'm signing out. Peace.